Welcome back. In this part, we're going to be talking about methods. In particular, we're going to start building our own methods. Uh, so now you might be familiar with functions or routines or subroutines or things like that. Uh, in uh, Java, we call them methods, and it's it's a semantic difference. Don't worry about it. Uh, methods basically are functions that belong to a class. And in Java, everything belong is a class or belongs to a class. And so consequently, when you write a method, it has to be encapsulated in some class. For now, we're only going to focus on static methods. And what static means is that the method belongs to the class itself. Uh, later on, we'll talk about how to build our own classes uh, and we'll be creating instances of those classes. Uh, but for now, we'll just stick with static methods, meaning that they don't belong to individual instances, they belong to the class in, as a whole. So and there's only one of these functions out there. Once you've created a static function, you can invoke it by using the class name dot like we've been doing up to this point then you provide the method name and method names are lower camel cased in java uh, that is a convention not a rule uh, but it's a convention that you should follow and then of course you pass any parameters that you want uh, there might be a return type or it might be a void function so let's go ahead and take a look at an example uh, so first of all i'm going to create a new class here uh, I'm going to create a class that is going to hold a bunch of utilities for computing the distance between two points. I'll just name it distance utils. So what I want to do is I want to, given an xy coordinate and another xy coordinate, I want to compute the Euclidean distance between them. Uh, the Euclidean distance can be computed using square root of the square of differences of those. Uh, but basically, I'm going to take four doubles, x1, y1, x2, y2, uh, and then I'm going to calculate the distance between them uh, using uh, the Euclidean distance formula. So let's, let's go ahead and write the signature of that function. Uh, it's going to be a public function. That's a keyword that denotes visibility. In other words, we want anybody, uh, any other piece of code in our program to be able to use this function. So I'm going to make it public. Some other options would include a protected, which gets into uh, object-oriented programming and subclassing. Uh, another option would be private, which means that only the class can see it and instances of the class can see it. And another one would be package protected, where only other classes in the same package uh, can see the and use the function. So I want everybody to use this function, so I'm going to make it public. We make it static, meaning that it's going to belong to the class for now. We're only going to, for now, we're only going to focus on static methods. Its return type is going to be a double because it takes four doubles, makes the uh, computation, and then returns the value. I'm using lower camel casing on this and I'm calling it what it is. It's a Euclidean distance or you could just call it compute Euclidean distance or something like that. I give it its parameter list. Uh, I, I like to avoid long lines. So if you want to, you can go ahead and cut it uh, down to the next line. If you wanted to align these to make it look nice, you could also do that. If you wanted one parameter per line, that's also a convention that I see quite a bit. Uh, as long as you're consistent about what you're doing. So the value is simply going to be the square root. And for this, we're going to use the math library. Note how I'm doing this. Math is a class. It's a class in the uh, java.lang library, so we don't need to explicitly import it. And it has a method called sqrt. It's shortened for, uh, for so that it, it's familiar to other people because in a lot of programming languages, starting with C, they, they kind of uh, shorten those things up uh, so that they could save room. So square root computes the square root. Then we need to compute the, the square of the differences between each component. So in other words, Now you might be thinking to yourself, well, this is the same thing as this. And so when I multiply those together, it's a square and you can use the pow function to do this. Raising it to the power of two, which is the same thing as squaring it. Um, either or is fine. Uh, I like the first version simply because if it's a square, uh, that's going to be a lot more accurate to just do the straight up uh, multiplication than invoking a, uh, a, a POW function that's probably doing some numerical interpolation method to do it. 
I've got my result stored in a local variable. Remember, the scoping of variables, if you declare a variable inside of a method or a function, then it's only gonna be local to that function. It only exists in that function. Uh, so I need to return that value. And now it's happy about it because I've got a value and that's ret being returned. Uh, you didn't have to actually store this into a, a, a temporary variable if you wanted to. You could, of course, immediately return it and have a one-liner instead. I'll go ahead and leave it like this because this is a little bit cleaner. What One thing that we want to remember to do before we leave is everything must uh, every major piece of code should be documented. And I'm going to use those same Java doc style comments here. Now I put in two HTML markup tags here, uh, one for I for italics and one for code. Uh, which will uh, which will format code basically just to show you what they look like when they're rendered All right now that we've created this function we need to use it So I'm going to go ahead and go back over to this demo class here, and I'm going to actually invoke that method Now to invoke that method we need to use the class name it's stored in a different class called distance utils And it'll do auto completion for me dot and then the method name and then I need to pass it a couple of values here So from the origin 0 0 up to 1 1 we should have a distance of about square root of 2 which is about 1.41 And again, a double is going to be accurate about to 16 or 17 uh, digits of precision. And so this looks uh, correct to me. Just as a reminder, that math library has a lot of values and other nice methods in it that you can use. For example, e and pi, two constants that you might uh, frequently use. Absolute value, exp, e to the value, uh, logarithm, logarithms. Uh, and a lot of other uh, rounding uh, rounding functions and a lot of other uh, really useful methods. So now you can get started writing your own functions.